Hi, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts share their real advice. It's six questions in under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. Welcome to the show. In a few sentences, could you please tell us who you are and what you do? Sure, absolutely. My name is Jessica McCarthy. I'm, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of two teenagers, uh, I'm a friend, a guinea pig owner. Uh, and an advocate. Um, and I've also had an extensive career in healthcare marketing um, as a marketing executive. I would say that and the mothering are currently the most challenging roles I've got. Um, I started out my career in advertising and account management, and I spent about 10 years in advertising. I've been in healthcare for about 15 years um, in various roles. I've had roles on the payer side, on um, with diagnostics, medical device. I'm currently working for a company called Lumiato, which is based out of San Mateo, California. And we are focused on artificial intelligence for the healthcare industry. I love it. You have such a diverse background too. And I am surprised you didn't start with the guinea pig. That would have been something. <laughs> I'm sure he would be upset about that as well. <laughs> Very cool. Well, what would you say, Jessica, is the best thing about being a leader in your industry? The healthcare industry is behind. Um, there is a need for industry-wide change, um, and healthcare is extremely broad and extremely challenging. Um, and in many cases, uh, the technology and the consumer expectations are 20 years behind where they need to be. And at the same time, we're seeing dramatic change, and that's really exciting. And I often wonder what that industry, what our industry is going to look like in five or 10 or 25 years. Mm -hmm. I would say working to make improvements, whether they're incremental improvements or whether it's a leapfrog. That's what's really exciting and energy energizing right now in healthcare. That's why I love it and why I've stuck with it for so long. Mm, that, that's a great response. You know, part of making improvements, of course, is working closely with customers or understanding your customers and understanding what's happening in the space and what the needs are. And I hear from other leaders that creating authentic connections can be challenging with all the noise today. What's your take on that? Yeah, it can be really difficult especially now. Mm -hmm. um, I find I draw a ton of energy from my team and from customers. And ultimately, um, even in a business that's so driven by the bottom line and healthcare is very driven by the bottom line, um, we can find common ground. And that mm -hmm. common ground is really in patient care, right? We all want to improve patient care. And we all want to improve outcomes even while we're worrying about the bottom line. Um, and that's something that everyone makes a priority. So learning and listening are the tools that I really use with my customers and my team. You know, questions are the most powerful tool for connection. Um, what that means though is then you have to really be prepared to listen um, and to continue the dialogue with deeper, more introspective, more um, challenging questions to really drive the change that's needed in the industry. And I really find when you can have those discussions, when you can find those connections, that's what's truly powerful. And that's really how we learn from one another. That's what's kept me connected. Mm, that's really cool. I love the question piece, but then followed by the, the listening, right? The act of listening and the continuous engagement to keep yeah. that conversation and, and appeal the layers. That, that's fantastic. Do you have any other real advice for other leaders? Is there anything else that you think is really important? Well, I can tell you what I'm always trying to learn from other leaders. Um, empathy. Um, we've businessified it to EQ, right? Um, but really at its heart, it's empathy and using all of your senses to truly understand someone, to really listen, to really learn, not react. Um, I think that's the most powerful tool we have. And it's extraordinarily hard right now. We're all using virtual ways to connect with each other. And you can get lost in the technology. You can lose the, the connection. And so one of the things I've actually done, and I would 
share this with anyone who has just had more than enough of their video conferences is just pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. I have found that by reducing the inputs to just a voice, I'm able to pick up more on the nuances, the tone um, and, and the pitch and use that to really help me listen and learn from the people that I'm talking to. Um, but ultimately my advice is empathy, empathy for the people that you're working with, empathy for your customers, empathy for your patients, for your members, um, for your vendors, everybody, um, everyone can really benefit from being listened to and being empathized with. That's great advice. And, and you're so right about picking up the phone too. I know that's part of your advice, but how many times are people looking at Zoom and really just making sure their background's good? If, you know, if someone's coming into, you know, their cat walks by and you're like, ah, you, you lose that momentum and, and the connection is so different. I love the auditory piece that you mentioned, but yeah, um, empathy is critical. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, before we get to our final question, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would like to give a shout out to or think should be on this podcast? Yeah. God, I've been really lucky in my career. I've had phenomenal bosses and mentors and sponsors, um, and I've sought them out because ultimately they'll make or break your career. Um, I would call out a few people. Um, so Janet Widman, uh, who I worked with at Blue Shield of California, she's been a friend, a boss, a mentor, a sponsor um, throughout my healthcare career. And I, I truly wouldn't be where I am today without her. Uh, she's just a phenomenal leader. Um, also at Blue Shield, Jeff Hermosillo and I worked together. Uh, we were peers as well as he was my boss. He taught me almost everything I know about the business of healthcare, and and he's been a, a fabulous um, leader and and mentor for me as well. Um, Eric Perot is someone I worked with as a colleague. Uh, he's been the most fun to work with, and he's a, a fabulous salesman, a great showman, an unbelievable performer, and just makes you laugh a lot. Um, and I would say Susan Cobian. Um, Susan's a great friend. We've worked together for about five years. Uh, she's a phenomenal marketer. She's an inspiration to me for starting her own marketing agency that's healthcare focused, SFC Group, and she is killing it. Nice, they sound fantastic. Thank you for mentioning them. All right, our last question is more of a fun one. Can you tell us about your first job? <laughs> Well, I've been working since I was 16, so I'll skip a lot of those summer jobs and jobs during college because I don't think they're very interesting. Um, but uh, my first job out of college, I worked for Random House, which uh, is and was at the time the largest publisher in the world. And when I worked for them, it was their heyday. They were uh, they were at the top of their game. Um, and it was like working in a soap opera. There was so much drama. Your first job out of college, it was like being thrown into the to the snake pit. Um, but while I was there, I had the opportunity to do some design work. Um, I worked in the children's book and cassette package division. And my boss let me do some of the redesign of the cover of The Cat in the Hat. So I got to put the burst on the cover of the cat in the hat that says now in Spanish and English. And to this day, I think that might be my 15 minutes. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a few of those uh, books in my house, so I'll, I'll be sure to find one right after this. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, very cool. Well, um, Jessica, how could people get a hold of you or learn more about the company? Yeah, absolutely. So Lumiata is at lumiata.com. Please come visit us. You can reach out to me at jessica at lumiata.com. And I welcome any opportunities to connect with people. I love to mentor. I love to teach. I love to be sponsors uh, and help women in business fulfill their greatest dreams. Uh, I'm a big advocate for women and I'm a fan of leaving the ladder down because everyone who's come before us has worked hard to get us where we are today. And it's our job to continue to do that for the women of tomorrow. That's an awesome, powerful message. Very cool. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. This is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com.
Thanks so much. And thank you, Jessica. Thank you. It was a pleasure.